channel community hello youtube welcome back to my channel i'm mark from wandering souls and i'm here with a new uh, contest entry slash um, threat response um chris hansen over uh, astro creep um, has a new contest going on called 13 subs contest and um Kind of funny with a low uh, number, but I think uh, it's yeah, it's all about the number thirteen, of course, um, because um, thirteen is a really scary number. <laughs> Anyways, um, he's of course now way above that, but um, yeah, I just he just uh, did a contest and I decided to hop on, and um, yeah, it's an interesting uh, idea, so. Um, I think I saw a few other people do uh, hop on as well and I said why not, you know, uh, um, I'm new to his channel so I, first I had to sub and uh, of course I did, um, so <laughs> hi Chris, um, if you don't know me uh, just watch some other videos of me and you probably will get to know me um, through those videos, um, do the contest entry especially and uh, you know, um, feels a little uh, bit more about myself and collection updates and stuff like that um, if you like color uh, reaction videos it's also cool of course um, it's also uh, something I like to do uh, anyways um, contest all around the number 13 um, first of all you have to be subscribed to his channel and make a video and, and let him know that you made one so uh, here it is um, Second question, show an album with the number 13 in the title, in a, in a song, in a band name, or um, you know, that kind of stuff, or show a movie that has the number 13 in the title. So, I sh decided to show from each uh, one, uh, of both one, and um, yeah, you have to sh only show one, but I decided to just show a movie and, a city and an album. So uh, the first one I want to show you is Cradle of Filth, Cruelty and the Beast. Um, that's not 13, but there is a song called, the second song on the album called 13 Autumns and a Widow, which is actually the opener track of uh, this album. And because the first song, of course, is an intro. Um, but a blasting opening track, a Fast and Furious, um, yeah, if you're familiar with Cradle of Filth, then you know what to expect. If you're not familiar with Cradle of Filth, uh, it's an um, extreme metal band, symphonic, with high screams, uh, female vo background vocals, a lot of synth. Um, here has some black metal riffs. Um, they were more black metal back in the day than the, uh, in the later work, but um, nowadays they are considered an extreme metal band. Um, yeah, but. There is of course some black metal in there. Um, this is an album that they released in 1998 and this is a concept album all about uh, Countess Bathory from Hungary, um, also known as the Blood Countess. Um, totally concept album, um, whole story about her life and murders and stuff like that uh, you can find on this album. A fantastic album. Um, one of my favorites from the band, I think um, Dusk is my favorite, and then probably this one. Um, I mean, Dusk and Her Embrace, the album that came before this one. Uh, fantastic release. Um, the band's uh, fourth uh, release, and I think the third studio album because they consider Vampire as an EP, but I think it's a pretty long EP in my opinion, but anyways, um, fantastic album, um, yeah, definitely worth checking out. They also have reissued this one um, and remixed, uh, because uh, the drums on this album are pretty thin, and um, the remix, the new issue of this, has, of course, a bit fatter sound, so um, yeah. But it's, it's a fantastic album, guys. Great story, uh, great songs. Um, a lot of uh, emotive um, parts in there. Um, and horrific, of course. It's a horrific story. Um, she killed a lot of women, let's put it that way. Uh, Cruelty and the Beast by Cradle of Filth. 
and the movie for 13 yeah can he behind friday the 13th right and the first one um the first one was not really jason Voorhees in the picture a bit it has more uh the mother in, who is killing on uh, cam crystal lake and um, with the second movie of course uh, jason Voorhees takes over the murder part uh, but uh, he's in there but he was small um but fantastic movie uh, released in 1980 i think yeah probably around that era um classic in the horror genre um but yeah can't miss that 13th you know day of bad luck well that was day of bad luck and camp crystal lake fantastic movie definitely worth checking out um i recommend it if you are a horror fanatic so that's concerning the 13th in the title then over to the second question then you have to show an album or a movie which was released in the year that you were 13 so for me the year that i was 13 was 1994 and uh, it's also the year that i i was already in heavy metal hard rock and stuff like that but i then 93 94 i branched out to the more extreme stuff as well so um, this album helped a lot with that slayer divine intervention um the band's 1994 album um yeah fantastic album a much, much overlooked album um a lot of people seem to forget this one but this has definitely some fantastic tunes and it's killing fields sex murder art get to have divine intervention as uh, so the serenity murder you know it's our fantastic tracks uh, it's diverse it has a lot of solos it's aggressive it has you know um like lyrics here and there as well um it is a fantastic album and uh, i don't know why people seem to overlook this one because it's great release uh, first one without dave lombardo and that's probably people uh, why people overlooked it because uh, paul bostaff is on this one and paul bostaff of course was before in this band he was in forbidden um but it's a phenomenal album divine intervention if you want to discover an other album you haven't explored yet for slayer this is definitely a recommended album um check it out um great 1994 album in the year that i was 13. then another um franchise horror uh, movie um a lot of people thought in 1991 it was already over with the Nightmare on Elm Street uh, movie series because the last chapter, chapter 6, was called Freddy's Dead. Well, um, the people of the movie brands decided it was not finished yet and um, in 1994 there was a new nightmare. <laughs> they keep on... Um, keep on bringing out movies and uh, this is of course the 994 movie the seventh in the collection and um yeah fantastic uh comeback um really like this uh movie um yeah it goes on freddy always does keeping in people's mind during the sleep etc etc and murder people and blah 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 you know how if you know the franchise then you know what it is and it's a nightmare a horrific movie if you can't stand um psychology and blood and whatever it's not for you but if you like this franchise of course um uh, yeah of course this is and almost still with Robert Englund on uh, the role of Freddy Krueger and luckily he did um, because um, he definitely makes this movie he just plays his character very well I have seen a, re a remake of the first movie well it's a remake, a, a revision because it's more in nowadays but has some things in the past it's a good movie but I I don't know if I like that new actor like on as Freddy as good as Robert Englund he did his job so well in all those movies um Heather Lang 
And Langan Camp also uh, came back in this movie. She was in uh, Elm Street 1 and 3, and she's also on 7. So it's good to see her back in uh, this movie. And of course, Wes Craven is on here uh, as director, and you can't go wrong here. Um, definitely a good comeback, great movie. Um, Yeah, a nightmare on Elm Street, part seven, a new nightmare. <coughs> so this is my entry. I hope you liked it, Chris. Um, <coughs> hope it's good enough. Uh, I enjoyed making this video. I always love these contests and threat responses. Um, I've done a lot this year, more than ever actually. Um, this year I did a lot of those videos and I always like to dive, love to dive in the collection or in what else the, the the video is about and, and dive into these kind of things um <clears throat> so thank you all for watching guys go to chris's channel uh astro creep you definitely can use more subs uh he's going slow slowly going towards the 100 and it would be cool if he reached 100 and hopefully <laughs> she don't delete your channel by accident again that would be you know, so so weird that it happens again. So uh, please don't do that. Um, just go, keep on going with the channel because you're doing some great stuff. And uh, yeah, I love this contest. So um, here is my entry. Um, so like I said, go to his channel. I will leave a link in the description so you can go to his channel easier and hop on the contest and see what it's all about and you know um that's it guys thank you for tuning in if you like my content also consider subscribing i would really appreciate it um we love making videos and we slowly are getting a world thousand so it would be awesome if you could make that happen because um, i like to promote bands and if the more people watch the more bands will be promoted that's how it works um so see you see you around and uh stay safe guys cheers